Good morning and uh, welcome to this press conference. Today we we have with us uh, Professor Cecilia Baye, UN independent expert on international solidarity, who presented her report to the General Assembly's third committee yesterday afternoon. Ms. Baye was appointed by the Human Rights Council as a dependent expert on human rights and international solidarity in October of 2023. So we will ask Ms. Bayet to say a few words, and then uh, we will open it if there are any questions. Ms. Bayet. Thank you very much. Um, I was very honored to present my report on AI and international solidarity because we are at a crux in the world today where we really have to choose in what direction we're going. Um, if we're interested in maintaining some degree of respect for cultural diversity and equality, um, we will try and ensure that government institutions and technology companies that are implementing AI for data processing and decision making are willing to establish independent and external transparency audits and human rights impact assessments. We hope that this will help to identify biases in training, in algorithms, and decision making um, throughout the entire life cycle of AI. And we would also like the same actors to have environmental audits because we're worried about planetary boundaries and we know that AI um, can impact um, the environment um, in a very strong way. And we're also calling for investment in data literacy education for the de general public because we want people to be able to address AI deep fakes, disinformation, and hate speech to create resilient societies. So I think that if we um, demand governments and a technology com uh, companies to adopt an AI solidarity approach, we can make uh, progress in which civil society will be able to open spaces for engagement. Uh, example of that is I've created an international solidarity map that shows civil society groups around the world. And I have a chapter written by Karen Frude in my international uh, handbook on international solidarity and the law that talks about um, digital solidarity. So these are new approaches that are um, hoping to create um, a better approach to, to the future we are facing, which will be very embedded with AI. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Payet. Do we have any questions? Um, Online. I see several people online, but I don't see any hands up. There's one thing that uh, I would like to bring up because you brought it up as we were preparing for this press conference. You, you have said that um, peace is a dirty word these days, <laughs> that no one wants to talk about peace, uh, especially having in mind the two big current conflicts and any others, that it is almost seen as a win for the other side or something that people do not want to engage with that and it, it has become a dirty word. Can you say something more about that? Yes, I'm, I'm happy to do so. Peace is a universal principle within the UN Charter. It is the raison d'etre of the international community and the United Nations. It should be the starting point for engagement by all states and civil society groups, both in terms of prevention and in resolution of crises. The marginalization of peace within the narratives that are addressing the current challenges we have in Ukraine, in Gaza, and also things ranging from AI to climate change means that we are not understanding the essential need to engage in approaches in which we will demonstrate empathy for the other side, that we will recognize that all parties in conflict have losses and are traumatized. Peace is that which enables us to um, create a bridge and to action um, imagine a better future for the next generation. So I implore states and civil society actors to adopt peace in any engagement in which they are preparing strategies for resolution of conflicts. Thank you very much. Do you have 
Any other questions? If not, I think uh, we will thank Ms. Baye for this. And may I just remind you that we have two more press conferences today. At 1 p.m., it's with a special rapporteur on health, and at 1.30, with a special rapporteur on torture. So I uh, hope to see some of you there. And with this, we will close the press conference. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It's very nice to meet you. <laughs>